앞에서 배운 쉰개의 세 단어 표현을 영어 설명과 함께 비슷한 표현 세 개를 추가합니다. 11. Give me five. Give me five is a fun way to ask for a high five. When something goes well, you might raise your hand and say, Give me five. It's like celebrating a small victory with someone. You could also say, high five me, slap me five, or let's high five. 12. Keep it up. Keep it up is a phrase of encouragement, meaning you should continue doing what you're doing because it's going well. If you're doing great in your English class, your teacher might say, keep it up. Other phrases include continue the good work, stay on track, or don't stop. 13. Let it go. Let it go means to stop holding on to something, usually a grudge or a problem. If you're upset about something that happened a long time ago, someone might tell you, it's time to let it go. You could also say, move on, forget about it, or don't dwell on it. 14. Go for it. Go for it is used to encourage someone to take a chance or do something they're thinking about. Maybe you're nervous about applying for a new job, and your friend says, go for it. It's like saying, take the leap. Do it, or give it a try. 15. Hang in there. Hang in there is a phrase of encouragement to keep going. Even when things are tough. If you're feeling stressed out but almost finished with a project, someone might say, hang in there. You're almost done. Other expressions include, Don't give up, keep pushing, or stay strong. 16. Mind the gap. Mind the gap is most commonly heard in train stations, especially in places like London, where it's used to warn people about the space between the train and the platform. But it can also mean to be aware of any kind of small difference or space in life. Similar phrases are watch your step, be careful, or look out for gaps. 17. You nailed it. You nailed it, means you did something perfectly, or very well. Maybe you gave an amazing presentation and afterward, your boss says, you nailed it. You could also say, you crushed it, you did great, or perfect job. 18. Hold your horses. Hold your horses, means to slow down or be patient. If someone is rushing you to make a decision, you might say, hold your horses, I need more time to think. It's like saying, wait a second, be patient, or don't rush. 19. Piece of cake. Piece of cake is used to describe something that's very easy. If a test was simple for you, you might say, that was a piece of cake. Other similar expressions include, easy as pie, no sweat, or a walk in the park. 20. Catch you later. Catch you later is a casual way of saying goodbye. You might say it to a friend when you're leaving with the idea that you'll see them again soon. Other phrases include, see you later, talk to you soon, or see you around.